And welcome back to Space Panda 3, episode 20. Um, just went and quickly got the last bit of Solarite. Now gonna head towards the finale. between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Oh, you glorious bastard, you. your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence back you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die To me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. Very dramatic. Now, Alarak, now that you're High Lord, how does it feel? Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have, 
Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. I mean, which is more or less right now, so... The, the only reason you're saying no to Alarak is because... No, nah, it's a mad decision! Ah, oh, Rohana. You look a lot plainer without your Psi Matrix halo. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldorim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Very philosophical. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ayr. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, let's go talk to friend Phoenix. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise, his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. I mean, you're not gonna treat friend Alarak like that, are you? Alright, well, let's see. Say we drop a bit, and we could grab Solar Bombardment. Warped Reinforcements is pretty nice. Solar Lance is pretty nice. Guardian Shell. Getting harder and harder to pick. I think we'll go for the Warp between Forces. Well, that one does cost 75 energy. Well, it costs the exact same. But yeah, I guess. We'll do that. That's pretty neat. So you warp in a pylon and you get a bunch of stuff with it. Uh, Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce for the betrayed. Uh, I'll, I'll stick to Dark Archons for now. I think I'll just uh, stick to this setup overall for now. It's a pretty good setup. Let's actually get to this next So many cool. lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand Maybe for I'll... Ire. Yes, for Ire indeed. 
Maybe I'll leave this episode as just cutscene stuff, because there's just so much to get through. Brothers. Sisters. The time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Caller to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ayr, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the Void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these clickables, and then Space Panda 21 will be the next mission. And I think we're almost done. Uh, I think it's just two more episodes than after this. Your people are lost, Arpanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world, and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Got a whole bunch of... Uh... Different styles of ships, all these Protoss coming together, working together. We got some Dark Templar Void Rays, we got classic Protoss Carriers, we got the amazing Cybros Purifier Station, and the Death Fleet, all in orbit. Ire, this is not the first time I have fought for you, but it may be the last. The Psionic Matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. It is strange. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psy Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of the proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though, to have so little of experience to recall it. My account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our histories should be viewed after all, without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. I don't know. I think the loss of the Kala is very lamentable. Ayer, some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris, and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it, now that the power of the Keystone is within our grasp. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I.
Fully operational solar core, that's pretty damn swanky. Oh yeah, we already did that. The keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of fire. But this scale... It can only be... Amon. How long until the keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The keystone shows clear evidence of tampering. Likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of a Zalnaga. You will find a way, Karax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. Yep. Now, I think the most important one... I have such tangible memories of Iron. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. No, oh, Phoenix! I mean, not quite Phoenix. We'll get to this. I already spoiled his name, his actual name earlier, but we'll, we'll get to that. He will pick his name. But yeah, um, just the sheer amount of cutscenes. I feel this is a full episode, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut it here, and we'll do the next uh, episode with the actual mission proper. So see you then. Boop.